till now we were focusing on the epithelium uh, epithelium and its uh, various elements various cells and gingival fibers and parts of gingiva now let's move on to the connective tissue so connective tissue part which is uh, composed of collagen basically around 60 percentage then we have fibroblast around 5 percentage and the remaining 35 percentage uh, includes matrix which has vessels and nerves so it is known as lamina propria the connective tissue of gingiva is known as lamina propria which has got two parts papillary layer and reticular layer this pa papillary layer which is uh, adjacent to the epithelium which consists of papillary projection between the epithelial retapex and reticular layer which is in continuous with periosteum of alveolar bone okay so this is in close connection with the alveolar bone contiguous with alveolar bone and papillary layer is here so this is the connective tissue papillary layer which is with projections between the epithelial retapex you can see the projections okay so this is a papillary layer and this part is reticular layer and connective tissue has cellular and extracellular compartments composed of fibers and ground substance so ground substance is basically composed of proteoglycans hyaluronic acid chondroitin sulfate glycoproteins uh, mainly fibronectin and fibronectin which binds fibroblasts to the fibers and many other components of intercellular matrix helping mediate cell adhesion and migration that is fibronectin uh, fibronectin which fibronectin and we have one more protein which is known as laminin laminin so fibronectin which binds fibroblasts to the fibers and many other components of intercellular matrix whereas the laminin is another glycoprotein which is found in the base cell lamina serves to attach it to the epithelial cell so it is attaching to the epithelial cell okay epithelial cell and we have three types of connective tissue fibers um, are collagen reticular and elastic fibers the collagen type 1 forms the bulk of lamina propria and provides a tensile strength to the gingival tissue so we have collagen reticular and elastic types uh, and type 4 collagen which branches between the collagen type 1 bundle and is continuous with fibers of the basement membrane so we have type 1 and type 4 type 1 forms the bulk of lamina propria whereas a type 4 which branches between the type 1 so type 4 and type 1 is there type 4 is going between type 1 and it is and is continuous with fibers of basement membrane and other blood vessel so the elastic uh, fiber system is composed of oxytalin eleunin and elastin so the cellular elements so cellular elements include fibroblast which is a major element which are mesenchymal origin and plays a major role in the development maintenance and repair of gingival connective tissue which synthesize collagen and elastic fibers as well as the glycoproteins and uh, glycosaminoglycans it regulate collagen degradation through phagocytosis and also we have mast cell which are uh, numerous in connective tissue and also we have fixed macrophages and histiocytes and also adipose cells and eosinophils neutrophils plasma cells and lymphocytes so the blood supply of gingiva is basically from three sources one is supraperiosteal arterioles supraperiosteal arterioles along the facial and lingual surface so facial and lingual surface of the alveolar bone from which capillaries extend along the circular and gingiva circular gingival epithelium and between the retapex of external gingival surface so that is supra periosteal arterioles next we have vessels of um, periodontal ligament which extends into the gingiva and anastomose with capillaries in the sulcus area okay 
and third one is arterioles which emerge from the crest of the interdental septum. So that is a blood supply, lymphatic drainage. From mandibular incisor region, it goes to submental lymph node. From maxillary palatal gingiva, it goes to deep cervical nodes, buccal gingiva of maxilla, and buccal and lingual gingiva in mandibular premolar molar area, which goes to submandibular lymph nodes. And nerve supply is basically trigeminal nerve. So that was just uh, some finishing points about gingiva about the blood supply, lymph drainage and nerve supply and the cellular elements, connective tissue part. So gingiva is a very vast topic, uh, the parts of gingiva and the uh, gingival fibers about the epithelial cells are very important for your exam. So I'll come up with periodontal ligament in my next session. Thank you.